Frostburg, Maryland, a city located in the northwestern region of Allegheny County plays host to a variety of historic buildings and locations, one of which is the remarkable Hotel Gunter. It was first established by businessman William R. Percy and named for his son-in-law, Gladstone Hitchens. The original Hotel Gladstone proved to be a financial failure. Despite the boasting of over 100 rooms, a cafe, a barber shop, tennis courts, petting farm, and observatory, Percy sold the hotel to a William Gunter in 1903. Over the next two decades, Gunter would make some aesthetic changes to the hotel, including a pressed tin ceiling and mahogany and marble bar. He would also install gas and electric lights in 1911, and eventually rename the hotel after himself in 1925. But the hotel contained more than just an air of class and comfort. It became home to seedier kinds of activity during the age of prohibition. At one point, the basement contained a cockfighting arena that doubled as a speakeasy. The Aryan Band of Frostburg, which is still active to this day, would play at the hotel frequently as the outlawed alcohol was smuggled through the back. Hotel Gunter also had a jail cell in its basement where prisoners who were being moved across the old train road were housed. The jailers would sleep in a comfy room upstairs while the prisoner would spend the night in the basement in their cold stone cell. After its heyday in the first half of the 20th century, the Hotel Gunter fell into a state of disrepair. In order to find out more information on the hotel, we spoke with the front desk manager, Ryan McKenzie. I've uh, worked here at Failingers Hotel Gunter since uh, June of 2008. Um, when the current owners purchased the building in 1986, the, uh, it wasn't in good condition at all. The, uh, the Failinger family purchased it at auction at that time and didn't have to pay a great deal of money for the building simply because uh, of the uh, condition that it was in. Obviously, they've uh, put quite a bit into it now and uh, the hotel has been returned to its uh, former splendor at this point. I think uh, they certainly were the right people at the right time uh, to take on the project. Again, uh, the, the building was not in good condition. I think it would have been, it's near, was near the point at that time, perhaps, uh, of even uh, demolition. Uh, but Mr. Failinger, uh, uh, Kermit uh, Jake Failinger, was a contractor. Uh, and his wife, uh, Thelma Beanie Failinger, was uh, very uh, committed to hard work, certainly not afraid of hard work, and uh, had a very good attention to detail. And so they decided to take the project on, um, and, and so they did. Uh, Mrs. Failinger uh, absolutely enjoyed the redecorating process, and Mr. Failinger was a, um, a very good businessman. And again, I think they were the right couple at the right time. I'm sure it was just a project that uh, excited them, and they decided to go for it. And um, I think uh, it, it turned out really well after quite a bit of hard work. Really, they renovated from the roof on down. Um, there, was, there was much to do. One of the main uh, projects initially was uh, the Grand Staircase, which is uh, in the hotel lobby. Uh, it not only needed some repairs, but it had also been uh, covered in several coats of, uh, of paint. And so uh, the goal was to get that stripped back down to its original oak, uh, which it now has been. And so really, Mrs. Failinger, along with her brother-in-law, uh, took that project on. Uh, it took them three months of time, and they used 155 gallons of paint stripper. Uh, but uh, that's, that has been removed, and it's really the centerpiece of the hotel. Um, and many uh, weddings and wedding photographs uh, have been taken on the staircase. Well, there, there are always upcoming events for sure, um, but what's coming to mind right now, we're coming into, uh, into the Christmas season, so we'll have uh, certainly some private parties and so forth, but, uh, and some uh, weddings and things like that. But what uh, really comes to mind that the community would be interested in is uh, the annual uh, uh, storybook holiday which takes place the first Saturday in December here in town and uh, the uh, the Hotel Gunter each year actually uh, ha has a um, breakfast with the elves event uh, that kind of kicks the whole day off so it's a it's a nice way for parents and children to come and uh, they'll uh, they have uh, breakfast here and I think there's an 8 o'clock and an 845 seating um, and there'll be some cookie de decorating later in the day at the hotel for that as well. So that would be one thing that the community would be interested in, I think, in the near future. Uh, well, I really like the ballroom in here. Um, they have great events in here, like the cookie decorating contest right now. Um, a whole bunch of kids are coming and decorating cookies. That's a lot of fun. We like the jail. 
Um, it's neat how they made an actual person in there laying down like he's sleeping. Mm -hmm. It's really neat. Um, we also like the big Titanic ship. Um, for Easter, they decorate with tons of Easter bunnies like everywhere and lots of, lots of Easter eggs. They also do at uh, Christmas time, they do a cookie contest for a storybook holiday. Currently, the basement of the hotel has been reconstructed into a mini museum and contains plenty of household artifacts from another era. Although the hotel boasted over 100 rooms at its inception, all but 11 have been converted into different apartments available for rent. It's plain to see, Hotel Gunter is one of Frostburg's oldest and most storied locations.